Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. This is Katie Rin Lifts. I make videos about health, beauty, and fitness. And you know, if you're new here, hit the, or you've been here a few times and you have not yet, hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, might as well just, you know, move your mouse or hand or whatever's going on to the other side and hit that like button. Because if you hit the, the thumbs down button, I may or may not, you know, cry about later. We shall see. So first things first, we have a different backdrop. Um, so I am filming this at, I think it's like six o'clock at night. So it's not super late, but of course, when you live in the tundra, the sun goes down very early. So we are doing this in my bathroom with my cool dining room chair that we don't use because we don't have a kitchen table. There's a whole lot to unpack there. <laughs> Anyways, I do have to apologize if you hear my husband in the background. He is procrastinating on his homework right now, and so he is playing game, and sometimes he likes to yell when he plays. I love him. <laughs> For today's video, as you can see from the title of this video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive into what my training has been like. What, what my journey has been since making my video um, two and a half years ago and where I am now because what I was doing then is very different from what I'm doing now and I feel like I just need to just dedicate a whole video to a whole update on this because if you've ever watched any of the previous videos what I was doing then is not what I'm doing now but I will break it all down for you in this video hopefully I will be able to figure out how to insert some additional video clips so you can see me doing some stuff so you're not just seeing, you know, me sitting here talking to you. And you can actually see some stuff that I do right now because I am really excited about what I do and what I have been able to accomplish. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the last time you saw me, I was talking about doing Julia Michaels workout video and <laughs> I realize now that I may have uh, clicked bait, bait a few people because that video has over a thousand views, which is kind of insane. And <laughs> oops, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, not to hark on Julia Michael videos. I still absolutely love her workout videos. I'm actually going to be listing my top three down below, but that's kind of what I was doing a lot of. I was doing a lot of workout videos that had some very, very moderate weight, like three to five pounds. I was also doing a lot of walking during that time so that I could just, you know, get my steps in. When I started my new job as an AmeriCorps member, I actually tried to join Gold's Gym. Part of the reason behind this was I was thinking about getting into bikini competitions. And if you've ever seen any type of figure competitions before, it is quite insane how hard it is to get to that point where they're stage ready. And, I, and for some reason, I thought that was a good idea. Um, and I came to find out that I don't think that the workout part of it would have been too bad on me, but what would have been kind of bad on me is the diet part of it. And even to this day, like I just think about all the hard work that these people put in for like months to years to get where they are. And that's just, although I do like to put a lot of hard work and stuff, that is an extreme level that I don't want to go to. <laughs> but kudos to them for doing it. Um, there was some stuff that happened, basically like the gold gym guy never really got back to me. Like when I would go to talk to him about stuff, he wasn't there. And also getting personal training at that gym was very, very expensive. So I was like, you know what? This might not be the best thing to try to do because I was making a government stipend, not making a lot of money. I was on food stamps. So not really the greatest thing to try to do a whole lot of training and try to pay a personal trainer. So from there, I went to Planet Fitness and I worked with a trainer and to kind of like learn some different machines, which was actually really, really beneficial to me. This was also when I started doing more weightlifting type exercises. In the past, I my only like things with weightlifting, I might've done a few things with trainers here and there back when I was like in high school, but not really any type of like actual weightlifting 
And so this is like when I first started doing a little bit of dumbbells, but mostly machine training, which I actually, I really don't use machines anymore, <laughs> but this is when I was still doing a lot of machine training. I did that for a few months and then um, I ended up, for some reason I was not going to Planet Fitness anymore. I continued doing workout videos, which, and really did a lot of Shred and Shed by Julia Michaels, which I made a previous video kind of about. I also did her kettlebell workout and I did um, fat boost metabolism. Like those are my all time top three. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, you can get those videos for like five bucks, like really, really cheap. And I feel like they're such a great way for if you're a beginner to get your body moving and they're also really aerobic. So highly recommend them. Through that, I moved across the country from Texas to Iowa. So from extreme heat to an extreme cold, very different in terms of climate. Um, in Texas, pretty much you can work out year round. I mean, you typically don't always want to be outside when it's super, super hot. But if you wait until the sun goes down, it gets a little bit better. So you're able to be outside and do stuff. So going from that and going to Iowa, where basically winter starts in October, <laughs> it was very, it was hard. It was really pretty hard. During this transition time, I want to say in either late July or August, I watched a documentary about the CrossFit Games. Since then, I have watched, I think, four documentaries about either someone going to the CrossFit Games or the CrossFit Games themselves. And I just was like, this is really, like, honestly, my mind was completely blown with how physically fit these people were. What they were doing with their bodies is absolutely insane. Like it's still insane to me as somebody who works out a lot. I'm just like, how in the heck does this happen? <laughs> and so I decided to see, is there a CrossFit gym nearby? Turns out there was, so, and took their free class, <laughs> which was burpees and wall balls. Now, if you are in CrossFit, and you have one of those in programmed for the day, it's not fun. But to have them both programmed for the day, yeah, that was not fun. Um, and I will do a whole video about CrossFit and like why I don't do it anymore. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but I, this was like the first time there's a community of people that I can work out with. So that's really cool. But I was also excited to learn how to use a barbell because I'd never done any type of barbell training my entire life until I was until I was 25, which is crazy to me now I think about it. But using the barbell and getting to learn how to do the compound lifts of deadlifting. Let's go, Katie. Locked in. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Good job back squat bench press so let's just, let's just hit one. I all of a sudden was like this is something that's really cool I also really like the Olympic weightlifting part of it, although sometimes I was not very great at it, but you know, there's always hope for the future, right? So I was doing CrossFit, I would go about two to three times a week and then I would run on the weekends because I was like, I need to get better at running. And I wanted to actually be one of those people who enjoyed running. So I did that for a few months until we got slammed by winter storms. And I basically didn't go to CrossFit for an entire month because I was having car issues. I couldn't make it to the class on time because of the weather. And part of the road was like closed down. There's construction on it. And it was just a complete another disaster. Because of that, I was doing more home workouts where I was doing workout videos and I was doing running as well. And I actually got so involved in running <laughs> that I ended up signing up for my first race and so I could run my first, my very first race and possibly my only race, we will see. 
but it's funny because I have to laugh because a lot of people, they sign up for a 5k and then here I am signing up for a four mile, for at least four and a half miles of a trail race, which is very, very different from just a typical 5k. Let me put it that way. Running on flat surface versus running in <laughs> down rocky hills, running up rocky hills, trying not to fall off the edge. Basically the path is only as wide as what your feet are. It was nerve wracking, but it was a lot of fun. It was around this time when I started getting more into running that I was like, okay, I am not really going to CrossFit that much. I am paying quite a lot for CrossFit. So I probably should find something else because I'm not going enough to make this worth it. And I'm not being really excited about going to class. Like every time, and this was nobody's fault but my own, but uh, every time I would go, like I would just get like really anxious because I'd be like thinking about like what we had to do. And although the workouts were fine and I did fine, I just would get really anxious beforehand. So it was, <laughs> it was a fun time. All right, so then I went back to doing more workout videos and running, mostly I was just doing running. I'd actually like even run during my lunch break at work, go run for like three miles and then come three or four miles and come back, which is pretty crazy um, now that I think about it. And then I started doing searches. I was like, okay, well, I'm not doing cross anymore, but I would like to keep working with the barbell, do stuff with a squat rack. So I need to find a new gym. Well, I found a new gym, luckily, and decided to join the gym because they're having a special where a hundred bucks for like four months, which is pretty good. And I also started working with a personal trainer. And when we started working together, I would like to start learning more about powerlifting and getting into powerlifting. I had been a fan of mixed squats before, um, before starting this journey, I guess, and decided, hey, like she has this program, like maybe I should check it out. Right now, kind of what my work schedule, workout schedule is like is I do five days a week. One day is with my personal trainer, AJ, who is um, probably, who's just a saint. The fact that we almost always go over time and he's done, will do stuff on the weekends, works around my schedule. So I do a session with him and then I will work out four days a week where I do make squats program stronger by the day, which if you don't know what that is and you wanna do powerlifting type workouts, highly, highly recommend it. It's only $8 a month, which is incredibly affordable. You get programming for basically all four weeks of that month and then you're not billed until the next month. And it gives you four days of doing um, either a lower body day, an upper body day, and then there's also an additional optional accessory day. Now, instead of doing the accessory day, I use that as my um, day that I work out with my trainer. And how it's split up is you do, um, the first day is gonna be your, the day that you do a back squat along with some leg accessories. Day two is overhead press and upper body accessories. Day three, back to lower body accessories and deadlifting. And finally, day four, you are um, doing a bench press and you are doing upper body accessories. So it allows you to not only gain strength in the compound lifts of that you do in powerlifting, which if you don't know, that's gonna be your back squat, bench press, and your deadlift, but it also allows you to maybe get a little bit more aesthetics. And because I've, ever since I started doing her program, for, I have fallen in love with it and I would not do anything else. I absolutely love powerlifting. I am so excited for being able to compete in powerlifting um, in basically like two months now, which is crazy to me. <laughs> but I, I don't know, there's something about using a barbell and feeling really strong that I absolutely love. Now, I do want to talk real quickly. I decided that I was going to do kind of talk about this at the beginning of the video, but I was like, you know what? This might be something good to save towards the end along with being more positive about what people want to do exercise wise. Obviously I have, I even wrote, I have a long list of what I have done in the past two years. And I think that it's good to know that just because something doesn't work out for you or you don't like a certain exercise, don't keep doing it. Really the things that you're going to love doing 
in the gym, you're going to keep going back time and time again to do. Don't keep doing something that you don't want to be doing because it's not going to, it's just going to make you unmotivated and you're not going to be excited. I think going to the gym, you should be excited to go each time or at least most of the time just because you're doing something that you love when you're there. Now, one thing I don't really love that I have to do is some cardio, but you know, after that, I'm like, you know what? Now I get to do my deadlift or my bench press. So there's such a positive aspect of it come, that I know I get to do after that cardio and that excites me. I also want to talk about how um, there's also this huge misconception about how lifting weights equals gigantic women. And what I mean by that is like super, super muscular women, women who have bulging biceps, bulging veins. Now, what a lot of people don't realize and is that it takes a lot of hard work and dedication for women to even look like that. You don't look like that on accident. It takes years to actually achieve that kind of a look. And you know what? If a woman wants to look like that, more power to her. And I hate when people are saying, oh, well, I don't want to lift weights because I just want to tone. And it's like, okay, well, you know, the best way to get a little bit more muscle and to lose fat is to lift weights. Now, and it takes tons and tons of weight until you actually get to be a larger size and gain a lot of muscle. For women, it's just how our bodies work. We just don't gain muscle very well. It's just kind of how biology is. And I think that whenever a woman says she wants to lift weights or she shows like a video of herself working on the gym, deadlifting, really heavy, back squatting really heavy, you should be praising her. You shouldn't be like, oh, you don't want to get too muscular. Like that's just not super great. <laughs> so I do kind of want to talk about that just a little bit because I know that some people watching this might think, oh, well, if you keep lifting the way you do, you're going to get super bulky and you know what if I gain muscle and I change my physique who cares it's not your physique this is how I want to look and if you don't want to look like that that's fine you can do something else for yourself but like I said I think what we need to do is definitely find something that you love to do that keeps you active and keeps you healthy and keeps you moving that's the best thing you can do for yourself that's going to help your health so much and it's just gonna make you be in a better headspace and feel better. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me and for getting to this point in the video. I know that this was quite a really long video, but I just kind of wanted to give everybody an update and let you guys know what my training schedule is like now and what I used to do because I have tried so many things now. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yo, up, 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 up.